Yo, what's up guys? Boss here, and I'm back with another YouTube video, and this time we're going to try to get 12 wins in this grand challenge. We're currently 8-0, and and we're going to be using the best log bait deck in the meta right now. It's a double barrel bait deck, so what I mean by double barrel is you have the goblin barrel as well as the skeleton barrel. You have dark goblin kind of as your main air counter card, um, but I mean you have the inferno as well, which is really good versus lava hound as well as balloon. It's also great versus golem, pekka, goblin giant, giant, any kind of tank. Dark Goblin's also really good versus Graveyard, and you have Delivery kind of to help out on defense. Maybe they have like a bunch of cards stacked up, maybe like a Golem Knight Witch Mega Minion, or versus Lava Pups, and you, you, maybe you're hitting the Balloon as well, or just versus Bait. It can be very useful. A lot of good ways of using the real Delivery, just gets a lot of value. Skeletons are just to kind of cycle you, and then Knight's kind of just a tank. Um, it can be good to like tank for the Goblin Barrel or the Skeleton Barrel, and I'm also doing well on ladder, just wanted to update you guys, 53rd in the world, I made it to 7900. I might do a ladder video pushing to 8k, um, I've been using the same RG deck uh, that I've been using, and if I'm feeling like confident and, you know, I, I might record, but I do, I think, play a little worse when I'm recording, so I have to keep that in mind, but I'll try and see if I can do it, and um, what else was I going to say? The update, if you guys didn't know, is going to be uh, premiered on YouTube tomorrow, and I'm pretty excited to see, uh, you know, you know, obviously, like, what the update's going to be. Um, I personally would love to see 2v2 ladder. Obviously, the Clan War rework, if, you know, if the rework is done really nicely, it could be really, really good as well. So, I'm just excited to see, um, you know, what they've been working on, obviously. Um, looks like he's just gonna ignore the skeleton barrel. Very interesting play. Inferno should be able to shut down the balloon. I mean, we'll have delivery ready in case you were to zap or freeze, but very, I, this is not a typical start. I mean, you usually don't take half of their tower from a skeleton barrel, but maybe he just didn't have anything good in response for it, or maybe he was just hoping the balloon would be able to get a lot of damage. I don't really know, but regardless, didn't really work out for him at all. He might be using the Pompeo deck because he has Ice Golem, Miner, Mega Minion. So, you know, if you guys don't know what the Pompeo deck is, it's basically um, Loon Cycle. I believe he has the Inferno Drag as well, unless maybe he's using a slightly different variant. But Pompeo usually has the Inferno Drag. Uh, we can go for Skeleton Barrel here. I wouldn't be surprised if he plays the Goblin Cage. Yeah, I mean, it's a 4 for 3 trade, and hopefully the Skeletons can whittle down the Brawler quite a lot. So then that way we can just maybe even ignore it. Yep. So let's go for a Barrel. Goblin Barrel. Ooh, we're going to get some damage. He kind of, I guess you could say, messed up the Ice Golem. Didn't really do much there for him. We might have to try to protect this Dark Goblin if he miners it. He isn't minoring it, though, which is very interesting. Let's go in here. Ooh, he... Very nice value fireball. I gotta say, that was a nice fireball on his end. He got a lot of value out of it. But those skeletons are gonna be tanking for those goblins a little bit. Ooh, look at that. I just... Guys, huge mistake. I just leaked about probably two, three elixir. Just don't do that. I don't know why that happened, um, but I wasn't really, I guess, paying attention. We're going to real delivery. Um, Can I, uh, nope, I don't get that down in time. Okay, well, that's not good. He also predicts our inferno, so things could be getting a little dicey here, but luckily this delivery <laughs> got so much value, guys. This is what I was talking about. Delivery is insane on defense, just the amount of value you can get. He's after King Tower, so I'm quite sure he gave up at this point. Honestly, pretty easy win. I think we have matchup. Typically, any deck that has doesn't have a good answer to your Goblin Barrel, it's really easy because if you have a tank in front of it, or you know, tanking for the Goblin Barrel, like such as a Skeleton Barrel or a Knight, they really can't kill the Goblin Barrel unless they fireball it, which is a negative trade. So. It's honestly really rough for him, pretty easy matchup, um, and he just had a lot of trouble breaking through our Inferno and Rural Delivery. So we go for the next game, hopefully we keep finding games pretty quick. The further, uh, we, the further we get in the Grand Challenge, it takes longer typically. Sometimes when you get to 11 wins, it can even take 10 minutes to find a game, so hopefully that doesn't happen, but I have a feeling I'll need to edit out the search time, which is okay. I'm actually going to go ahead and reopen the game cancel and reopen sometimes this is what i like doing sometimes it works for some reason and you like this time for whatever reason 
Sometimes it can just maybe be server related while you're not finding game, but it could just be because no one's searching, but I always like to restart because it worked kind of like it did there. This guy's gonna have the Skeleton Dragons. Delivery is incredible versus the Skeleton Dragons because once it hits them, they're one shot from the tower. We had to leak a little bit of elixir. It was okay. I know I said don't leak elixir, but in that situation, it was kind of fine because if I played it too early, they would have not been hit by the tower. They would have been like knocked back on his side of the map. If they lava in the back, I like pressuring a little bit other lane and then just going for an Inferno Tower. Now, this might be a little bit bad because we don't really... Yeah, um, kind of unlike the last game, we got in a little bit of an unlucky um, situation. I don't know if I'd even say unlucky, but we already... I don't really know what happened, but we somehow already lost our tower. I guess it's because I didn't really know what spell he had. That kind of was a part of what went wrong, but... I mean, I'm sure we could make an effort to come back. We could even come back, but this is going to be a little harder than the last game. Um, we, I mean, we got put in a pretty bad situation. I actually beat Lava Loon earlier in this Grand Challenge, but I think the fact that he has arrows makes this a bit more obnoxious. Um, so we'll see kind of what... He's gonna do here. I think I'm gonna do that in the back so we can't arrow everything. Oh, he's messing up. Holy moly. Guys, he's he's messing up. We might actually have a chance of coming back. That was not a uh those bats went to complete waste. He tried taking out the Dark Goblin, but he kind of misplayed them. So I'm kinda hoping maybe, just maybe, we could come back. I don't wanna like overcommit, but at the same time, now is the time to go in because he just lavaed, but now I'm very worried about this lava push. Um, I guess this delivery should be getting some very, very nice value. I'm praying that the balloon gets only one hit. If it does, we're fine. We're actually in an okay situation right now. I'm pretty happy with this. I'm just going to do this, I don't want to commit anything else because I want to make sure we have enough elixir to defend his lava push. We're once again going to Inferno in the same place, if he goes in for a, um, a loon we need a dart goblin it or we need to delivery it, we have a couple different options of things we can do. I'm going to once again apply some pressure here though. He's probably going to arrow this. He aired too early, Skeleton Barrel is going to be getting some damage, he doesn't have arrows in cycle, we can play our Dark Goblin. He's going to go for a Lava, so let's get an Inferno ready. Um, and this push is going to be very, very easy to stop, so we can just Delivery on top of that. Um, and now because he was so aggressive, I think we should go in here on offense. We're going to do this, and then we're going to Skeleton Barrel, so if he arrows, he's not going to be able to... Like, if he arrowed the Barrel, he... If he arrowed the Goblin Barrel, he wouldn't have been able to defend the Skeleton Barrel. So now at this point, I'm going to play a Skeleton Barrel in front. So then if he fireballs, he's not going to be able to... Um, ooh, that didn't really work how I wanted it to. I thought he was going to fireball. Luckily, though, we do have a uh, Inferno. So I don't... I mean, that's not going to take our tower, but oof, this game's getting pretty close. We're going to do this. I wouldn't be surprised if he fireballs the Goblin Barrel. He didn't. Um, That was close. Really close. Wow. That was insanely close. Very nice comeback. I think the beginning of that game was very, very bad. I probably could have done things better so we didn't lose our tower right away, but man, after the beginning of that game, 
I think that was pretty clean. We managed to stop his Lava Loon pushes pretty successfully. I mean, things got a little dicey at the end with, I thought he was going to like overwhelm us, but whoa, that was kind of crazy. <laughs> All right, we'll see here if we can find uh, the next game pretty quickly. I'm hoping it doesn't take like five minutes. I have a feeling it will though, um, or the one at 11 will, but you never know. We could find the game pretty quick. I'll just, you know what, I'm going to do the restarting the game thing again and see if that works, because it did last time, it might again. So let's go ahead and search again. <laughs> it worked again. Right when we restarted the game, we found the game immediately. That's exactly what happened last time. I'm telling you guys, it seems weird, but it actually works. I, I don't know why the re restarting the, like, the Clash Royale app, like, does that, but I guess it, for whatever reason, works somehow. He's got arrows. I don't really know um, what that is yet. The other guy had arrows. All right. I mean, is this like a mirror match again? Or sorry, not a mirror match. I don't know what I'm saying. What I mean is, is this the same deck that the guy last game used? I mean, we're about to find out. Nope. This is probably going to be a golem deck. <clears throat> I lied. It's elixir golem. I mean, close enough. Honestly, I want to log that just to kill the healer and also push the Night Witch back so the bats go in front. Skeletons distracts. <clears throat> that should be good enough, I think. We could Skeleton Barrel just to distract a bat, you know, because we were going to need to play something anyway because we don't want to leak. Delivery is going to get some very nice value here. I think I want to Knight first, though, because everything... Well, actually, we don't even need a Delivery. I kind of changed my mind. Ooh, nice tornado on his end. Maybe I should have played the, uh... We'll try to juke him. I mean, we know he, we know he has arrows in cycle, so I just want to see if he doesn't... Nah, he, he got the arrows down. It works better if they have, like, a fireball, and then they're more likely to miss it, but when they have arrows, it's harder to do because the arrows have such a large radius. We're gonna go Skeleton Barrel again. To be honest, this isn't gonna be extremely easy, that's for sure, because... Elixir Golem, the Inferno Tower doesn't do too good verse. <clears throat> and along with that, um, I mean, our delivery is going to get a lot of value on defense, but I just feel like um, the fact that he has arrows and tornadoes is going to make things kind of rough. Most Elixir Golem decks have either one or the other. They don't have both arrows and tornadoes, so that's why I'm thinking this is going to be a little bit tricky. Um... I was going to Goblin Barrel, but I'm going to actually hold off because that, that would be way too aggressive. And then I'd worry I wouldn't be able to defend his push if he if he's going in here, which I don't know if he is. It's kind of hard to say. He's going to go in the back, so I think now it's time that we go in just because... Um, Alright, well... This is going to be pretty interesting, I'm not going to lie. This... Is going to be a very sketchy defense, especially since he's going to be able to... Yeah, this is kind of what I was worried about. I don't know about you guys, I'm not a huge fan of um, Elixir Golem. So, I mean, we managed to stop that pretty nicely. I'm pretty happy with that defense. Uh, let's go Skeleton Barrel. We might need to go opposite lane, I'm not gonna lie. I think this is the- that's the last offensive Skeleton Barrel we're gonna play in this lane, because in this type of matchup, I'm quite sure that the way to- the way to- we, the way we want to win this is by going, um, going in the opposite lane. Although, ah, it's- it's so hard to say, though, because- the problem is, is we, um, we already have so much damage in the left lane. What? He has a Sparky? Did he think I had a, uh, hold on. Did he think I had a rocket? Is that why he didn't play it this whole game? Well, we don't have a rocket, so...
Yeah, this is, um, stupid. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't like Elixir Golem. I think we could win this, but, like, the fact that he had a Sparky and didn't use it the whole game is a little frustrating. He thought he had a rock. He thought we had a rocket, probably. That's my guess. Yeah, that's tough. I think if he didn't have a Sparky, we would have won that, though, to be honest. Maybe I should have kept the pressure up in the opposite lane, but I... That's tough. That's one of the matchups where Bomb Tower would... Pretty much at that point, you'd have a hard counter, but with Inferno, they kind of counter you. It's just... the, pro the I like having Inferno, though, because Bomb Tower, especially after the nerf it got... Unless you're versus like Elixir Golem or Royal Hogs, most matchups are better with Inferno because if you don't have the Inferno, it's just so difficult to beat things like Golem and uh, like Lava with the Bomb Tower now. So we'll see here if we can find a game pretty quickly. Um, if we don't, I'll just edit out the search time. I'll try this one more time and then <clears throat> If we find the next game after this very quickly, I might not edit out the time. Um, a lot of you guys ask me, why don't I always edit out the search time? To answer your question, I like uploading videos as soon as I'm done recording. And if I have to um, edit the search time, it takes a few hours to render. And that delays when I upload the, um, the video. So that's why, if all possible, I don't. Especially when I'm recording pretty late. Otherwise, it's going to be like almost midnight when I actually upload. But we'll see. Um... We're, we got a very nice start. I've, to be honest, I, I was gonna say I don't have any idea what this guy's using. I still don't have any idea because he's using some sort of. He's got, whoa, what, what? Did he just freeze with two skeletons on the? Nice, Dark Goblin didn't. What is this? Whoa, what is this deck? Guys, I'm pretty blown away right now. I, I don't really know what this is, to be honest. Like, okay, Graveyard, uh, you know, Graveyard Freeze, I've seen that before, but he has Ice Wizard, Musketeer, Mini P.E.K.K.A., very, very interesting. You know, the Ice Golem makes sense too, but the fact that he has, like, Musketeer and Ice Wizard in the same deck is very, very odd. As well as the Mini P.E.K.K.A., just, I don't like that synergy, in my opinion. You know, I'm not saying we're, I don't want to, like, jinx it and then, like, we lose, but it's a very, very odd combination. Oh boy, this guy's making some mistakes left and right. Log was late. Oh boy. GG, um, 
very interesting deck. I mean, I respect the creativity, but not sure that that's the best synergy. Um, let's take a look at what he had there, just one more time. Yeah, I don't like that synergy one bit. He has Mini P.E.K.K.A. Ice Wizard Musketeer in the same deck. That's, yeah, that's that doesn't work very well. And Ice Wizard without the NATO too, that's kind of another red flag right there. He just needs something instead of the Ice Wizard, and I think the deck would actually be somewhat decent. Probably like... Um... Mega Minion? I mean, maybe Mega Minion? That could... I could see that working. Maybe, uh... Even a, uh... I don't know. Just not Ice Wizard. <laughs> I don't I don't know what else it could be. Like, what else, though? Oh, you know what could work? Dark Goblin, maybe. For, like, bait aspects? Because he doesn't really have anything to bait out, um... I don't know. But yeah, we'll see if we can find this next game pretty quickly. Otherwise, I'll um, I'll just set it out the search time. We'll see. If I if I don't find it within like the next forty five seconds or so. And yeah, hopefully we can get the twelve win here. Close it out at twelve and one. That would be really nice. But, of course, we still have another life left if we do end up going versus, like, a tough matchup, which is possible. Or even if it's just a good matchup for me and I end up choking. I mean, that's a possibility, too. All right, good luck. Um, we'll go for Skeleton Barrel. By the way, I like playing it behind the chain, so if they have a Tornado, they can't pull it to the King. If, the, if, you, if you play behind the chain, they can't. Um, I'm leaking a tiny bit just to wait, make sure the delivery hits both of them. That's all I was waiting for. We're going to do this just in case he has a tornado, and I'm glad I did it because it looks like he most likely is going to have a tornado. He bar barrel didn't hit everything. Uh, this is probably Golem or RG. Uh, the reason why I assume that is because, well, actually it could be Greybeard too. But it's looking like it's most likely going to be a, uh, a Golem deck because he's got the Night Witch. This is going to be a pretty valuable Royal Delivery. Nice. Uh, I'm thinking if I want to... Yeah, just to... I mean, we're about to hit 10 anyway, so I guess it's an okay play. We'll do this, see if he misses the Barbell again. It's a possibility he does. Nice, he misses one of them. Let's go. I mean, his Skeleton Dragon gets some damage, so I guess it's not too bad for him. Oh, it hit the Dark Goblin. I was hoping it wouldn't. Okay, he's probably just going to Tornado that. Um, Wait, did he? Maybe he didn't have it in Cycle. I don't know. He was either back to it or had to play one more card. I wasn't really keeping track. All right, yeah, we just have to be really careful when he goes in for his Golem pushes. But this isn't really too bad of a... Uh, as long as we're playing correct defense, this isn't really too bad of a matchup. We want to take it slow, though. I don't really want to, like, knight at the bridge like I did versus the Lava game, because... Um, he's going to get the King activated. At, at this point, I'm kind of fine with that. I just don't want him to be able to... Wait, did he not lightning the Inferno? Okay, that's odd. Do like a little juke in the back this time. Um, hmm. Not the best tornado. We're going to pick up a lot of damage. We can uh, log that. And then go for Skeleton Barrel. We're going to do like one of these again just to try to... Make him miss the bar barrel. Oh, no. He got it that time. Nice. Okay, I didn't mess that up. I was worried the Dark Prince was going to splash, but I timed it nicely. Oh, the... The Ice Wizard didn't die. Come on. We can pressure just a little bit with a Skeleton Barrel, and then I think after that we should just chill. And get ready for defense. Ooh, 
We'll go for a Royal Delivery. Space everything out so we can't Lightning the Inferno as well as the Dark Goblin. He, whoa. Okay, not the best Lightning. We're going to uh, just basically at this point keep doing what we're doing. I don't want to overextend, but when he doesn't have a Golem down, we can be as aggressive as we want essentially. He missed time. The Barbarrel Skeletons are getting damage, and he played the Tornado late as well. So at this point, I'm just going to keep spamming him because he doesn't have his bait counters in rotation he should be back to a barbarrel now but he wasn't able to get it down in time so now with his tower being under 300 we have a couple options here i mean we could cycle like a bunch of logs hope we get death damage from a skeleton barrel or just play passive and i think what i'm gonna do is um, this is a little risky but i'm just gonna be a little aggressive because i feel like um like especially at this point in the game we need like what two more logs so i mean if i end up like losing this that would be very very unfortunate because it's gonna like i mean obviously with us needing one more log that would be <laughs> very unfortunate but we're able to get a log down we pretty much just cycled four logs on him that's gonna be gg pretty sure it's a good matchup for us because as i said inferno super good verse golem real giant really anything like that um, so if you know you guys know how the Royal Giant's really popular in this meta, really recommend this deck does really good versus Royal Giant. Um, because on ladder I use Royal Giant, that's what I've been using this season, and I've been using losing to um log bait almost every time I verse it. This Royal Giant deck is the one I'm referring to. Has a really good matchup versus this deck because they have no reset for the Inferno and you have a lot of distractions for the Prince. So we get 12 and one really nice grand challenge. Um let's go ahead and open up the chest. We're looking for Skeleton Dragons, that's all we need. And we get none of them, but we do get a bunch of star points, which is always nice. So that's going to be it for the video. Let me know what other decks you guys want me to play Grand Challenge with. The reason why I did it on Double Bait was because there was actually a couple people in the comments who said you haven't played, uh, you know, you haven't done a video on Log Bait in a while. That's why I really wanted to do one on the best Log Bait deck right now. So make sure to like the video if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And let me know, yeah, as I said, what deck you guys want me to use. We're getting really close to 50,000 subscribers. Appreciate all the support, guys. Thanks again. Until next time, guys.